Welcome back, everyone. We are with now Heather and David, and we also have Grand Camerer of the Wild World of Animals and Allegheny Outdoor Sport, Sports Show Manager Chris Fastnock. So we have been showing so many interesting animals coming up at the show this weekend, and that's just one small part of it. But I want to talk about this cute little creature you have. I've been a little bit intimidated here, but not by this guy. Yeah, he's kind of giving you the skunk eye, right? Yeah, well, he's winking. I'm winking back. <laughs> yeah, um, unfortunately, he had an eye injury in the wild. He went to a rehabilitation center, and it's determined by a veterinarian that he can't be released into the wild. So we have special federal permits that allow us to use this bird in our educational programs. Would you be able to turn him a little bit? I think the angle that we're seeing, well, you can only see his The problem blood. is, oh. when you turn the head, oh. yeah, he he's, just, it. he's just going to keep your eyes on you. Now, the reason why he can turn his head so greatly, he has twice the vertebrae in his neck that we do. We have seven, he has 14. It allows for a 270-degree rotation, and you'll realize why he has to do this when you notice that he can't do this. Right. Yeah, his eyes are fixed in his head behind us, you know, around, surrounded by a socket. So if he wants to look at something, he's got to move that entire He has head to instead. move his neck. So is he looking here because he hears voices and not looking out that way? Or he's, he just likes you and he wants well, to Well, he's you. watching us because he's very little. This is a screech owl, by the way. We okay. should point that out. And this is a, you know, full grown size. And so he's always got to worry that things are looking to eat him. So we're all bigger than him. He's kind of, he's relaxed. He's just hanging out. But at the same time, in the back of his head, he's kind of like, I'm watching you guys. Don't eat me. So the screech out. I think I've heard one of these before. Does it almost sound like a crying baby or a cat? A There's cat? a lot of strange noises that come from owls, and they range the gamut. And usually, when people think of woods as being haunted and there's spirits and things like that, usually it's because you're hearing one of these guys. In okay. The night. Interesting. I know. Well, I know you have a few more animals. Can we can we bring them over too? Well, I'm going to put this little guy away. That's beautiful. You guys, give me one second. I love that little owl. And David, I feel like you would need this owl. Didn't you have an animal issue with the squirrel? Oh, yeah, the squirrel. So I had a plastic owl, Franklin, that did very well keeping the squirrels away. But we did not employ an actual owl. That would probably do an even better job. It would. Oh, my gosh. Look at what this is. Holy cannoli, people. We truly did not know what was inside these cages when they brought the cages in. And. And well, this guy is not a little guy at all. <laughs> yeah, this is Boomer, and he is very distinctive because this is the largest prehensile tail animal in the world. It's called a binturong, comes from Southeast Asia. Now, wow. prehensile tail means that this very thick, powerful tail wraps around things, uses it like an extra hand because he's arboreal, spending most of his time up in trees. I keep my hand on this tail because if he wraps it around my throat, he's not trying to hurt me, but he'll hold on sometimes so tightly I can't breathe, let alone really? talk. Yeah. His tail is that very powerful. powerful. Yes. I'm oh glad he gosh. likes bananas and not people. Well, he eats everything. He, he is called an omnivore. So bananas are one thing, but in the wild, they'll jump in the water, <laughs> swim and catch fish up in trees, birds. And binarongs, they love to smell. And I'm going to ask you guys right now, are you picking up his odor? I, I'm not. Oh, I do smell. I What's it smell like to you? Spot, Chris. It's like a barn. <laughs> That's me. He, he actually <laughs> smells like buttered popcorn. Now, if you Google binturong tonight, really? B-I-N-T-U-R-O-N-G, that'll be one of the first things that you'll learn about them is that they smell like buttered popcorn and it's very intense scent glands. What is that about? I have no idea. Oh, okay. just, I, I, I assume it drives the ladies crazy. You know, oh, okay. I mean, that's, Valentine's that's Day, it, yeah, right? he's, he's looking to drive a little crazy. I, have, yeah, I, just, goes through some bananas, so. I just happened to have <laughs> another banana. Okay. Yeah, there we go, big guy. Yeah. And interestingly oh. enough, <laughs> you can feed him one pound of bananas and he will make two pounds of waste out of it. I oh don't know how God. they do it, but somehow. Oh, they, somehow that's quite a treat. Sounds like too. a small child. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Is that why you're wearing a towel? Well, I'm wearing a towel because being our boy, he has very sharp claws, and he is an incredible climber. And sometimes without the <laughs> Are towel, Are you picking up his scent now? Oh, I, I reek <laughs> like him. That's the other reason the towel's there is because if it's not, I, and, and I get used to it. But then you know, if I go into Lowe's or Home Depot at the end of the day. I get very strange looks, right. and I, I'm not putting two and two together. People so, are smelling buttered popcorn. Yeah, they're like, man, what, you know, where, where is it coming from? You know, there's a binner on around here. Uh, well, <laughs> so I know. You really have, don't pick up on it. Yeah, we have exciting news to announce our contest winner, and this is all for this weekend for the big show. For people who may have missed it earlier, we've been showing incredible animals, but that's just one part of the entire weekend. Well, there are great exhibits like the Boy Scouts of America have a really nice display at the show. They've got the Pinewood Derby display. They're selling U.S. flags, Coleman tents. There are also great seminars for canoers and kayakers, so you don't have to be a fisherman and hunter to come to our show. 
And, you know, the seminars are ongoing. Like I said, on all three stages, they're all included with the price of admission. So once you're in, everything else like that is free. Wonderful. Chris, Chris currently has a tail around his uh, neck. Okay, so <laughs> we, he's going to be yeah, okay. Now it's released. Now I can talk again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we wanted to announce those winners. Uh, Darlene Turner of Churchill, she gets, oh, it's just one winner, excuse me. She gets a behind the scenes tour of the wild world of animals display, which we were kind of getting right yeah, now. Yeah, we sort of got the behind the scenes tour, yeah. Also, four <laughs> tickets to the pond, uh, trout pond fishing, four tickets for gold panning, $100 cash to spend at the show, and a $10 Giant Eagle get go card. And we want to say thank you to everyone who entered and congratulations yeah. to Darlene. That's She's going to have a blast. <laughs> All right, now, so are fun. you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. The, okay. He's taking <laughs> his, his tail was like <laughs> wrapped right yeah, around. Yeah, he's that. got it there, but he's anchored well enough with his feet. You know his legs that he just doesn't feel the need. Now, if he started to stretch all the way out of my arm, forget it. It's like oh, it's, just, it's you know, incredible. Okay. He's gone through like four bananas in the span of 30 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> and you all know right, what God. that means later. <laughs> Come see the animals and so much more this weekend at the Allegheny Outdoor Sports Show at the Monroeville Con Convention Center. Now celebrating its 35th year. You can look for full show details at PittsburghTodayLive.com.